Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to have a look at some software called Super US. Now Super US basically allows you to take your ideas and put them in a 2D format so that you can visualize what you're thinking. So this is done in a mind map format and if you look for their website you can just type in Super US and it will be the top search result. Now we've got to keep in consideration that this is very new software. Um, it's only been developed a little while ago. So this is what your home page will look like. And if you just scroll down a little bit, you will see a short video of basically how to operate their software. However, what we're going to do today is we are going to dive in a little bit deeper. So on the top right, you can either click Start Trial, and what you'll have to do is you will have to enter your billing information, and you'll have to choose a price plan. So I've already chosen a price plan, and I've already logged in with my details. You get a seven-day free trial, which is very important, because before you've actually used the software, you don't really know if you like it or not. So they give you that seven days so that you can try it out, get a feel for it, and see if you can actually make use of it or not. So this is the page that you get to. Now, this is a very, very simple bit of software. In the top right-hand side, you can actually click Ask AI. Now, what it does is it gives you the opportunity to write an idea and let the AI map it out for you. So, for example, I'm going to type in here a business plan for a photography company, right? And you have four options. It says, ask AI about a business plan for a photography company. Help me to brainstorm a business plan. Then it says, help me to understand a business plan. And then what the context of a business plan for a photography company actually is. So with these four options, it gives you tons of stuff to do. So let's start from the top. So ask AI about what this topic actually is. So it will take a few seconds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and there it is. What it's done basically is it's taken a business plan for a photography company and it has given you a short description of what it is and then it's broken it up into its different categories so it says a business plan is a crucial document that outlines the strategy and goals of a company right so what it's done again is it has in fact mapped out what it is that we actually need to know about a business plan so let us jump in here so what you can do is on the bottom right hand side you have different options you can either zoom completely out and see your entire mind map or you can zoom in into a particular window that you have opened so that is that one over there and that button then the next button there is a little hand now that hand switches to um, edit mode or uh, movement mode so you'll be able to move around so once that is highlighted in blue you'll actually you can click down and you can actually scroll about and see what is actually happening in this mind map so let us start at the top. What it's got here is an executive summary. So it's broken it up into an executive summary. It's broken it into services and products, operations. And then here on the right hand side, we've got a financial plan. We've got marketing and sales. And then up at the top here, we've got a market analysis. Now, if you have a look at a business plan, this is pretty much what you are looking at for any business plan what we can do now is we can for example let us have a look at a uh, let's have a look at the marketing and sales so once you tap on there we're gonna have to just change it from the 
movement mode to the editorial mode. And the hotkey for that, by the way, is the H key on your keyboard. So you can just toggle between those with the H. So let's have a look at the marketing and sales. Now, once you tap on it, it'll bring up some options. So what you can do is um, you can divide this into colors. So you can make it green if you'd like. You can make each one a different color. Uh, that will also just allow you to sort of map out what it is that you're doing a little bit better. Let's make this terrible orange brown. Right, and then on the right hand side of that block, you will actually see a little dot. Now that dot, once you click it, it'll give you the same options that it gave you before. So here you'll be able to um, explore a little bit more about marketing and sales. Now what you can do is you can either type in your own command, like um, give me avenues for social media marketing right and you can either ask it about it you can you can ask it to brainstorm it for you you can ask it to help you understand or you can ask it to summarize the topics so what i'm going to do is let us brainstorm this idea so what i've asked it basically to do is take the idea that i've given it and brainstorm into a bunch of different marketing strategies that I can use on social media. Right, and so what it has done very quickly and very accurately, social media marketing avenues. So it's given us a bunch of ways that we can market our business on social media. What it's done also is it's um, linked to these two blocks and it said social media marketing avenue so it's given it a title so let us have a look at the market analysis and i if i don't know what market analysis is there's a short description there what you can do is you can just pop it open and you can ask it to help me understand what this block means without actually typing in a command so what is it what does it mean what does market analysis mean all right, so now instead of just giving us the five things that we've asked for, what it's done is it has broken the market analysis down into a more, um, a, a deeper explanation of what it exactly is composed of. So the first thing I'm going to do here is you can actually click down and hold your button in your left mouse button and you can actually move these windows so that you can actually see what is happening here. So if you have a look um, at the market analysis breakdown, it basically asked it to explain to me what it is. So it's broken it down into a competitive analysis. It's broken it into target audience and market trends. And basically what you've got there is market analysis broken down in its different it's different forms. So let us go again into the, let's have a look over here. Let's go to the target audience and let us open up another window. Now, once we open up this window, um, it does ask us again, help me brainstorm the idea, ask me about the elect selected card, help me understand, and then summarize it into topics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say summarize into topic so basically what it can do is it takes that target audience and it summarizes it into a few shorter points this is the important part what you can actually do is i know that we've opened a window from market analysis what we can do is we can take that market analysis and everything that's come from it over here and we can select all of these Okay, so there we go. Now, what it's basically done is it's taken target audience and it is basically summed up what a target audience is. Now, if you have a look here, it says importance of understanding your target audience for your photography business, conducting research, and then tailoring your marketing efforts and services to meet your target audience needs. So basically what it has done is it has taken a target audience and it has broken it down again into a simpler form so that it is easier for us to understand.
Now, it is very straightforward. Some of the other editing options that you can use here is, in fact, um, you can change the color of the boxes. So if you want to sort of put them in color-coded categories, you can do that. Another thing is the lines. You can change the color of the lines as well. So if you are right-clicking on that, you can actually do a bunch of stuff there. One of the other options is um, if you are in the editorial mode, you can actually double-click on your text. You can highlight it, and you will have the same sort of editing tools that maybe Microsoft Word would have. You can change the text color, you can highlight it, you can add a link to it, you can change the alignment of your text, you can even change the font and the size of the text itself. So another thing that you can do here, on the bottom left hand side you will see the little plus sign and an up arrow. What you do here is, if you go to template center, there we go. So template center basically allows you to choose the different um, ways you can set up your um, your mind map. So there's a bunch of different templates that you can use here. Uh, for example, there's this one over here. Let's say SWOT analysis. There is a timeline. There is a storyline. There is a matrix. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. And what it basically does is it lays it all out for you and you can just enter the information that you need to enter and when you're done entering the information you can again ask the program what it is that you need to do and then you can explore your mind map and you can have your ideas if you are a visual thinker you can have your ideas on a 2d format ladies and gentlemen enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave us a like. And if you like the content that we make, hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.